I never thought Makina could look like that. She was already good enough in her base form, but that transformation went crazy. Unfortunately, due to the Familia, right, anyone that's chipped in, you can just get controlled. Marcus is just OP. What can we do about it? Well, we have a certain somebody who doesn't have a Familia. A certain boomer from an old, old past that could save everybody. Now, we know about the Immortal Infernus plot. We have teamed up with the hero. We're just kind of... It, it, it's, it's feeling a bit BL. Not blue lock. Boys love right now. The, the homies are just kind of getting over it. You know, we got the auto mapping and we're going to the dungeon. Let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction. So, Makina. You treat a friend like this? True. Good googly moogly. What is this angle? Okay, the furnace stuff. You put the immortals in and their battery. Okay, sure. Wow, um, amazing science. Okay, I get it. I get it. Other immortals. Marcus, you monster! Bro's talking like an archbishop. She's strong, but Marcus is hacks. It's not fair. Yeah, I agree. We should throw Marcus into the infernal, uh, the immortal furnace. Because, like, think about it. When we disrupt this, that's what the hero said. The hero was like, bro, you realize that if we, you know, beat Marcus, if we get rid of the furnace system, Shinjuku will be out of power. More people will probably just die. And Mao was like, <laughs> don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. So like, it'd be fun to put Marcus in, right? Getting a little bit of revenge. But I think at the end of the day, the power source will most likely be from people worshiping the demon lord. Maybe the demon lord and the hero, some sort of combination. But I, I feel like as long as the people have faith that, you know, Veltrol has save this place and somehow their cheers and belief will power this place something like that okay. actual death the soul is destroyed oh yeah zenol the Duke of the Karmic Sword. Who could have forgot? No, I don't. I don't know any of these dudes. Yeah, I know Mao had like a bunch of like elite soldiers, but like don't fucking expect me to know these dudes. Yeah, for sure, that guy. Maybe I would care if I knew him. He is taunting. I'd love to see that. True. <laughs> what a twisted logic, but like he's not wrong, I guess, but still preferable if we could find a different power source. Yeah, they would know that it's just like limited immortal rights. Maybe they'd need that. Marcus is probably going to be screaming for immortal rights by the end of, you know, this season. If this season concludes this show, like, I don't know if this show can conclude this arc in one season. But like, if by the end, Marcus is about to get thrown in the furnace, I bet he's going to say, what about immortal rights? <laughs> Marcus, you are that source. The two couples. Oh, that's right. My favorite. Assign. <laughs> yeah, I love her. Badio. Irregular this. Hero. I wish he said hero or something instead of you. Hi. 
cool. Database. Great work. Great. <laughs> this straight up first generation immigrant stuff. Because like I have personal experience with this because obviously, um, uh, you know, I speak Korean, but obviously not at, you know, fluent caliber. So whenever, you know, like first generation immigrant kids, they talk to their parents, the it becomes like a mix of like, uh, you know, old language, like you, what you, you, you came from, but then mixed with English. Whenever you don't know the vocabulary, this English comes out of fucking nowhere. This, this sounds just like that right now. Great work. Yeah, yeah. So, walk together. She's the best voice actor of this show. I love her so much. She's gonna be my favorite character until the end. Just because of this one gag. This stupid comedic gag is enough for me to say this is my favorite character of the show. But <gasps> no way, Zeno mentioned. Yo, that sword is so rusty. Really? Alright! Sword Master! Hi -hi. Oh my ears! Reacted! <laughs> Uh -uh, uh -uh. The cameraman is really just having, you know, her ass bending all over the place. The great sword, the western great sword versus the eastern katana. Because I'm a weave, I have to side with the katana, but like the great sword are sick too. Alright. No clue what that does. I feel like Graham's sword is going to go like evolve. It's so rusty and dirty. He's probably going to have some sort of crazy skill where the sword becomes golden, where all like the rust falls off. The demon lord does. There it is. Quickly! Delito. Back again. I love her. Ah, oh, she should have said activate. Yo, is this a Bankai? The fuck is this? Domain expansion Bankai? Oh, it's a tension. It's a transform. Dude, she looking like Predator with those dreads. Look at that! She got like dreads now! What the hell? Graham needs this form too. G Graham, Graham. Surely, you have a different form too, right? That sword is so rusty. You gotta transform too. Yo. Is she farting? What is this? Where's the smoke coming from, bro? You, you just... You know, it's, I, it's supposed to be cool. It looks like a fart though. Huh. So no story this. Look at those heels, bro. It looks like, you know, the shoes also have guns here. Next. Instantly. Possible. Main the release. <laughs> okay. Sumo and light weight. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Realization. I love her so much. Driver. Okay. Oh, the sword. She's popping off. <laughs> Hashtag ad. Oh, 
<laughs> All right, you're new. Okay, I get it. Yeah, the grandma really looks washed though. Look at his rusty ass sword, his tattered clothing. Even the sheath is all rusty, and she is like, like state of the art, new equip. Oh, this is blue lock animation, by the way. <laughs> this right now, basically only the background is moving. It's already over. He's keeping up well though. More fart. She's farting again. Keep that sword sheath then. Yeah, this is again, it's just a product pitch. The amount of exposition explaining what this is is crazy. Batu! Off screen. Graham's still not doing anything though. Cracking. Excuse me? Very hard. Very hard, yeah? She just said she's tired of talking. Enough talking. That's what she said, not my word. That's what she said. This kind of feels like a video game you play where the whole like fight is like the opponent talking and talking and talking while you're trying to fucking focus on the fight, but all they're doing is yapping. This feels like that kind of video game right now. Hair got cut. Oh? Magic, okay. Nani. Triple magic. Bro. Ooh, the fireball animation went crazy. Now, I expected Graham to just beat her with swordsmanship because he was hyping the swordsmanship aspect, but nah. Seems like magic's worth that. Fireball. Easy. Oh. The budget just increased her like crazy. Not yet, though. Not yet, though. Where's she at? There she is. She's like unscathed? I don't know. Copying demon stuff? Ancient skills being effective on modern stuff. She's just tanking that shit. Because he's the hero. A lot of ass shots. I'm Graham, the hero. Batu. It does. Are you able to do the thing? Are you gonna change forms right now? Do some golden Excalibur shit. Come on. Okay. Regain it then. Hey. That's the name of the sword in Cautious Hero 2. Ixa Sword. I don't know how to say it, but like that, that sword thing gets tossed around quite a bit. Ixa Sword. Now I will try. Yes. I 100% guess that. Because it's so obvious. You got a rusty ass sword for the hero? No, it's gonna turn. It's a great sword. It's gonna be some Excalibur shit. Oh, 
Excalibur. Owl wing here though. Not Excalibur. Owl wing. Yeah, when that happens, you're usually dead, right? When the color starts fading like that, you're, you're pretty much dead, right? The crazy shit here is that if you look at her sword placement, like she was already in striking range. She's already mid swing. Graham has the sword up. The fact that he swung down faster than she could, you know, close this distance, it's kind, of, it's kind of crazy if you think about it. Not my English girl, no! Is she alive or is she just gone? <laughs> How many years of backed up pipes was, you know, released there? One pump, baby, that's all you need. Oh, she's still up. Because you're not the hero. She really got away with one slight injury on the shoulder, huh? He's the hero. <laughs> Experience over technology? Graham looks pretty happy now, yeah. He's feeling useful, like a hero. Yeah, Velta will handle it. Yeah, well, Velta's pretty strong too. No, no, no. I would argue that anyone with the Familia could never hope to stand against him due to the nature of how you can hack the Familia. Nah, because Veltal doesn't have it, he's probably one of the few people that can actually stand against him. That's a long time ago, before like a million subs. <laughs> Silly things. Yes. Are we glazing? What if he has no plan? We got an ultimate? Glaze. Glaze. No, you're too funny. Why would I kill you? No way. I love how you talk. Is this a ship? There's no way. A true ship is Hero Graham and Veltal. Sanctuary. Graham there kind of, you know, pulls some English there. Sanctuary. We got some drones. Oh, we got these robots. We fought this, right? I'm not sure if it's the same model, but we fought these things before. They've given up on you. You've been sold out. The hero just loves to help people, huh? Like his entire reason for existing is to have someone need him. Now, I think there's a post credit scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. No? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 here, here. here we go. Post credit scene, let's get it. They've been yapping too, holy. Like, bro, it's the end of the episode. You still haven't thrown her in? And now Velta's gonna show up at the most opportune time and say, you know, don't worry, I'm here. Like, god damn, you had the entire fucking episode, you still haven't done it? Come on, Velta, show up. Ignia. Different from an immortal? You yap too much, bro. The hero's gonna show up. The demon lord. Veltal. Veltal now. Veltal now. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I try to eat some proteins too. Oh, Makina is so good. Need to work out. That's right. Sitting all day in the chair is bad. Oh. Nah, nah, nah. Veltal show up now. There he is. I see him coming. I see him coming. Yoink! Easy. <laughs> 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 
My hero. Sorry, my demon lord. Makina, the end. And that's another episode of Demon Lord 2099. And the most cliche villain thing possible is to stall. Keep yapping. Keep stalling. Oh, I'm going to drop you down to the volcano. Oh, what's going to happen? I'm going to keep talking, though. I'm going to keep talking until the post credit scene. And now I'm going to drop you. <laughs> it's way better this way, though. So that Machina doesn't die. Machina's loyalty towards Veltal is truly unmatched. And today was just mostly, you know, Graham versus the secretary girl. And her English still just kills me, bro. Assignment. It's a database. It's just... Just a stupid running gag, but I, I enjoy that kind of stupid humor. Looking like Graham is, you know, back to his heroic status as he realizes more people need him. And she's getting tossed away by whatever these drones things are. So I'm sure, you know, she can help us too in the end. Now, they mentioned something about Veltal's uh, hidden trump card. Now, he did imbue himself with some sort of, like, dark red aura that I don't think I've seen before. But uh, he's got a trump card. He's got a plan. Surely Graham is not glazing, you know, Veltal, and Veltal actually has no plan? Nah, there's gotta be something. We'll find that out next time. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.